So we flagged up the women's pole vault right at the very beginning, the Olympic champion, Katarina Stefanidi, based in the US, of course, and uh, she's been talking about how good she feels in terms of her form coming into this season. Bit of a tricky start today, that's much better. Actually took three attempts, this is 474, took three attempts to clear 464, and then first time over here, she's so experienced, always manages to pull the vaults out when she absolutely needs to. And so, a little bit of a sigh of relief for her. Sandy Morris has talked a lot about, she's been talking about world records, she, she said she's in great shape, has been, she said it's my, te my technique that's not getting me up towards that 5 meter 6 of this and by ever, 5 meter Volta of course herself, Sandy Morris, but the ultimate silver medalist, world and Olympic championships, will this be her year as we head towards the Olympic Games, women's pole vault so competitive as always, but Sandy Morris might just be the one that uh, they'll all consider they have to beat, but early stages of tonight's competition as well so far so good for sandy morris yeah built a, a runway in the back garden of her parents so she could carry on practicing during uh, lockdowns yeah i think she built it in a local high school in the end didn't she with the help from her parents and local community and a lot of people had to make all sorts of arrangements and somebody who we couldn't see uh because of the russian ban was the world champion Sidorova. so first time we've seen her cleared recently by the World Athletics uh, panel, a bunch of other athletes still competing under the ANA banner. Now, in trouble. Ah! Now, everybody's been waiting to watch the world champion come up, compete against the other vaulters. Well, sadly for her, 474, which, which really is a height. Look how, much she's, how far she's over the bar there, just coming down on top, not getting the penetration, getting a high point right over the bar there for her. You know, the, she is capable of the, of the consistency that we know that she has normally to hit the high heights, but not here in Doha tonight. So we see goodbye, sadly, to the world champion. Well, that's a shock, isn't it? Well, this woman leads the world this year with a 493 volt uh, earlier in the week uh, back home in Georgia, Katie Najat. And bar now at 484 first time clearances for her so far 450 464 474 so she's leading the competition we've already seen the world champion Sidorova go out incidentally Alicia Newman and Angelica Bengston also going out rather surprisingly at early heights Newman no height in at all uh, completely oh, well done. she's in top form Najat really is vaulting well uh, she actually had a poles snap um, two, three weeks ago, flying in turn in the US. And she so, was using borrowed poles for the yeah, 493. Yeah, I saw them, she, she put them in a bin at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy Morris then, who was on great form in the press conference yesterday, Steve was saying, talking quite openly and honestly about the world record one day. She's the second highest vaulter in history behind uh, Yelena Isimbayeva. Here she is. Yes, nice. Safely over at uh, 484, second attempt. Really charismatic athlete. Made a few technical changes, she was saying, during the, uh, the enforced lockdown. So equals world lead. People in the second, third, fourth and fifth in the world champs, but no check quite she went with the late withdrawal of the night, sadly. So Katie Najot then, the bar at 4 metres 90, third attempt. Needs to rediscover the same sort of form that took it to 4.93 earlier in the week. So, third attempt, 4.90. No, not to be here in Doha on this occasion. Katie Najot, so she will depart with 484, her best effort. Incidentally, for those uh, watching uh, or hoping to see different people, we saw Stephanie earlier on went out at 484, Sutej Shuk 
We mentioned Sidorova, we did see her. Holly Bradshaw of Great Britain on count back will get third place, having cleared 474, 64 and 50 at the first attempt. But all of them failing at 484. Uh, only Najot here and Sandy Morris, we saw both of them go clear. So this was Morris uh, at 90. Chance to win it outright here from Najot, who on count back going into 4 meters 90 was leading, having not failed until we got to this height. And Morris having had a couple of failures earlier, the one at 450 when she uh, first began her competition and again at 484 the first attempt. Yeah, Sandy Morris, uh, just a uh, great character isn't she, for the sport. She's Apparently she's only got three uh, pet snakes now. She worked one time 28. Now she looked after all of them, but anyway, um, only three now. But she's uh, She's got a an interesting life away from track and field as well, Sandy Morris, with an incredible talent. Third attempt. Well, sadly for Sandy Morris, uh, second place tonight, and it's, uh, as I said before, been second place so many times it made champs for her. She will be hoping this is her year in Olympic year, but many competitions between now and Tokyo for these women, but for the time being, it's her teammate, Katie Najot, who will come out on top tonight, clearing 484. Both of them going clear 484, but on count back. Both of them failed at 490. It's Najot who wins tonight, there she is. So good week for her, will lead 493 in Georgia, and then comes to Doha and wins the Diamond League, first women's pole vault Diamond League of the season. Yeah, confirmation there, Najot, and Morris, US 1 2, Holly Bradshaw, we should say, continuing her excellent season in third place.